Alright, so one of the things that happened with us with the little cat bindings on the ribbon board <laughs> and this reel is probably my one gripe of uh, the riglet. It's great when it works, but sometimes it's hard to get back in there. One of the things that happened to us with this little cat binding on the Burton board was that the high back actually fell off while Allie was riding it, which is uh, unfortunate because when that happens, basically when the high back falls off, um, there's nothing to hold her foot in there. And so because there's just one strap there, her foot is essentially loose and comes out of the board. And so it's a safety concern, um, especially now that we're riding lifts. I uh, don't want that high back to fall off and her snowboard to fall off on her. Um, so what we're going to do is try to fix that problem. The high back actually being this plastic thing, it actually pops out really easily. Um, if you put any pressure on it, it just actually just comes out like that. And so you can kind of pop it back in there easily um, in a pinch, but there's actually notches in the binding for the high back, for these little pieces in the high back to get into and actually stay put. So I believe what we have to do, actually uh, undo the, the bindings and get this into those notches such that it won't pop out. Let me do the bindings. All right, so this is where the high back gets in there, if you can see that. In the back here, you can see there's different high back adjustments there. And we had kept it at this far level here, which is where you do not want to be because that's how the, the high back actually easily popped out because that's where you, you're you able to put the high back in. So what you want to do is get under, under and into that notch there on both sides. And then, then we shouldn't have a problem with the high back popping out because hopefully it's it's in there mechanically and as long as we have binding on there uh, strapped in really well, should be good to go. Um, one thing that I do want to check though is her boots and the sizing. I think we're I think we're at the the smallest size here, so maybe I don't need to check it because it's really just the smallest size that that we want for Allie which I think is why I had it up there, not realizing that I have to ac actually have it in that notch there. So here we go, we'll put it back on. All right, now it's pretty solid. Even if you squeeze this now, there's no way it's gonna pop out, it's mechanically held in there um, pretty solid. So now we shouldn't have the problem of the high back popping out. So we'll just do it again on this side and make sure that that high back is in the right spot. Alright, now it's pretty solid. That's in the right spot. It's as close as we can get it to being um, small for her. And there's no way it's going to come out. Um. <laughs> Alright, here we go. At least no more binding. You see the fire? Yeah. Yeah, you want to snowboard to it? Uh oh, keep your toes up. Be on your heels. Stand up here. Uh oh, yep. There you go. Stay on your heels. There it is. Yep, stay on those heels. Good job. Good job, I did. Yeah, we made it to the bottom. It's the way over there. You want me to pull you there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>